Hey, this is Paul Fan, and with my associate Catherine Guillader, and we are aboard the big boat this morning, the Genoa 54. Catherine, this boat has been around since 2015. There's been a lot of videos done on this boat, a lot of walkthroughs, and we're here really this morning just to talk a little bit about some of our favorite features. And I think we just got to start with the number one feature of this boat, which is the cockpit, which is the bomb. <laughs> it is. Every time I turn around, I, I find a new place to, uh, to lounge and relax. Uh, I'll start with the terrace. Uh, the terrace on the sea, it's a, it's a patented terrace of ours, uh, so it, it's really unmatched in its class. And, uh, you know, at, at, at the tip of, uh, of your finger, you can deploy the terrace. You have these great lounge seats and uh, you can watch your kids uh, jumping off the transom and it's, it, or relax and grab a book. It's great. And then you've got these, th this spot here where you're sitting, which there's no sailing uh, controls up in this area. They're all aft, so you can just lounge. You're tucked in out of the weather under this Dodger. It doesn't really get any better than this. No, I agree. It, it's very well protected, as you said, and, and also on either tack, it's really comfortable and safe. That's awesome. Okay, let's slip down below and talk about the interior. Uh, this comes in a couple of different wood choices. You can get it with the light oak, the teak. This happens to be in the teak. A number of different cabin configurations as well. Let's talk about what we like about this particular, uh, really an owner's version. All right, so we're down below on the Genoa 54. Catherine, give us a quick tour of what you like about this particular interior. So Andrew Winch uh, designed the interior of the boat and uh, like the rest of the yacht series, you can really feel like the luxurious feel of the boat. Uh, he really paid attention to like everything when it comes to ergonomics, seaworthiness, you know, with handles everywhere, but also paying attention to the finishes and the choice of material and wood. Uh, what I really like about this boat uh, truly is, is the galley. Uh, you're here underway with your galley on port side lots and lots of uh, storage everywhere. You have these massive drawers right here for your pots and pans, uh, but also all around here. You have that uh, nice stove here with this foldable uh, countertop. So it, it gives you massive space to be cooking. And really a lot of our clients do cook underway uh, and they go places and, and so it's, it's nice. You're propped up against this thing right here. You have a nice, uh, you know, little uh, feature here with that sliding microwave, which is very ingenious, you know, like when you don't need it, it's out of the way. Totally, I love that. I love that. You would not even know that there was a microwave aboard the boat. And uh, just lots, lots of storage everywhere. And then, of course, house uh, size, uh, household size fridge, massive fridge here, uh, freezer under, uh, just lots and lots uh, to, uh, to get your meals ready. This table uh, is pretty neat. It comes up and down. Uh, in the down position, you have an infill cushion and makes for this massive lounging area or berth even, but if you want to watch TV, it's pretty neat. That folds up and uh, they go down and up independently. So that can be your coffee table if you're just having a cocktail at night. And then, uh, do you want to check out the master cabin forward? Yeah, that'd be great. So you have that uh, really massive owner's suite uh, again, you know, like the choice of the fabrics, uh, the leather uh, headboard here. What I really like is you have these uh, hull portholes really far forward. So when you're sitting in bed, you can look at the sea. Uh, it's, uh, it's really nice. Of course, lots and lots of natural light with the, the hatches uh, up above. And then uh, you have a, a nice and sweet uh, shower with a separate shower and, and head. That's awesome. This is a real owner's cabin. And uh, on, on port side here, Paul, if you want to open that, uh, that hanging locker here, really, really big. Yeah, look at this. Just tremendous amount of space. And again, they really paid attention to, uh, again, that luxurious uh, feel and, and comfort on board with uh, lots of natural light, but also uh, nice indirect lighting. So moving aft, uh, we have that fantastic VIP suite. That's one of my favorite part of the boat. Um, because, again, you are here and, you know, you don't have your guest tucked away in like the subpar cabin. Uh, it's nice to have this headboard right here and you're sleeping in, in, the, in the right direction. You don't have your head right here with your pillows falling off the bed. And also that hull port that's really nicely located further aft so that you can read and, uh, and look at the sea. And then if you have more guests or, or kids on board, 
you have this nice cabin here on um, on Starboard Aft with um, two little two beds um, for kids, but also you can convert that into a double berth. And then uh, another favorite of mine is that uh, utility room here. It can also be a third head, but in the two head version, that is a really nice space for additional storage, a little workshop. You can have an additional fridge or even a washer dryer. And then uh, finally, another favorite, uh, <laughs> favorite of mine is that forward facing nav, nav station, which uh, you know, I know other manufacturers are, are going away from from a true nav station because a lot of our clients do uh, navigation with Navionics in the cockpit. Um, however, if you're not using it for navigation, you can use it for like a workspace with your laptop here. But you also have all your controls right here at your fingertip. And you know, as we said, people are taking longer trips and they're not gonna do all their trip planning in the cockpit. They're gonna come down here, they're gonna want a separate screen. You know, this is where they're gonna sit and really plan their trip. You know, especially when the elements, if it's cold or rainy or whatever, it's nice to be able to come down below and that nav station is second to none. All right, well listen, I know you're eager to go for a sale, so just before we do, take us through some of the sailing features about the 54. So it's a very versatile uh, boat and uh, it's tailored for many uh, rig configurations for different sailing programs. On this boat we have the in-mass furling, um, in furling that comes standard with the boat with a 110% Genoa. But you can also have uh, a self-tacking, a code zero, any uh, combination. Fully uh, batten main. Fully batten main, classic rig for sure. What I like uh, is that you have all your winches led aft. Uh, you even have that storage locker here for your line, so everything is out of the way. And at the helm, everything is at your fingertip. You have your GPS screen right here, your autopilot, your chain counter, your bath roaster. Uh, so, I mean, really everything is, is meant to, uh, to uh, go places and, and uh, make it easy on, on ourselves. Fantastic. Well, listen, the breeze is up. Uh, I think it's time to go sailing. I know we have an eager crew uh, willing to help us out. So let's get the anchor up, let's get the sails up. Let's go. Let's go. You're home. You know, there's not a big overlap, so you can see exactly where you're going. You can see the telltales. Yeah, it feels great. Awesome. Maybe we just keep going. Uh, yeah, maybe we're about not, that time to head south. We're not That's good. Uh, no, I think it's the blue one here, but it's okay. I mean, if it doesn't bother our camera crew. Hey, this is nice. Notice the way that Ben positioned the boat down. 